When coastal storms come, the Outer Banks is usually the prime target. Its unique geography makes it vulnerable to severe weather events. Emergency officials there are in the early phases of getting ready for what this system could bring. New tonight, Markeisha Jackson shows us how. Right now, crews say their main concern is likely heavy rainfall, but that they'll be prepared for whatever may come their way. Emergency management crews across North Carolina started the week on a conference call to discuss Tropical Storm Debbie. It's already made landfall in Florida as a hurricane and is now heading up the coast. We do get a lot of calls from the community and, um, you know, we have a lot of visitors here, so they're not quite sure what to do. and. So we, we answer their questions and try to put them at ease. Mary Beth Noons is the emergency management director for Curatuck County, but her focus is making sure all Outer Banks residents and visitors are safe. We have certain spots that flood very, very easily. And um, so we try to keep in contact with those neighborhoods and the, the people that live there so that they understand that water is going to rise. Uh, a lot of people have been here long enough to know uh, where the, the common spots are. Like her, those residents are watching the storm closely. I uh, definitely drive with caution because there's so many low lying areas here in the mainland. The main beach road floods quickly. North Carolina Department of Transportation is also warning about the potential of flooding and their crews are out staging equipment and sending the latest information to drivers through their website and social media. They have a, on their maps, they mark out where there's flooding and, and if there's any roads closed down, that's a good resource to check. And um, of course, turn around, don't drown. And if you get um, weather alerts from the authorities here, take heed. Something to remember over the coming days. There are links to those storm resources mentioned over on wavy.com. Reporting in the Outer Banks, Markeisha Jackson, 10 on your side.